Hello everybody and welcome to episode 22 of Pokemon Dark Rising 2. In the last episode, we got here to the Omega facility, and with the help of our friends, hopefully we'll be able to take everybody down from the various teams from throughout Pokemon history. So I do have my team here. I'm not healed up completely, but that's okay. And I'll be healing a lot, and I have a ton of revives. I think we have enough to survive here, so I'm just going to head in. And hopefully we can take it down. I'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar to... It's too bad we can't talk to that person. But I'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar to Sylphco, but hopefully not too similar. And... Alright, make it to the top. It's a fake intruder alert. Alright, so we weren't able to secretly make our way up top, but that's okay. And this thing's going to be annoying, so I'll just switch out. And flamethrower, right? there we go. Pretty easy. And per ugly, I can use ash for. So Scrafty's become a pretty good option for us. Hopefully he can break out of confusion. No, he missed. Alright, awesome. Alright, so I'm going to heal up a little bit after this, and for Skunk Tank, I'll just use Earthquake. And I'm probably going to be encountering a lot of Poison types, so Garchomp will be good for those. And I'll just use a couple of Hyper Potions here on Mega Man 2, why not? And so, you're done so far, or something like that. I don't know what he said, actually. But I'm guessing it's going to be a linear path, but I'll take on everyone, just, uh, I mean, you guys don't have to. But, eh, I think it's a good idea, too. And hopefully we can break out. There we go. There we go. I don't know how he outsped. I'm guessing he was going to do some crazy thing, but can't think of what it would be. And good thing they're not exploding in my face. And I'll just use Crunch. There we go. All right, easy enough. So, yeah, you guys can skip people if you want, but... I could use the experience, and I don't think I'm going to be... The losing P, uh, power points isn't a big deal for me, so... I'll, uh... Oh, we do have the card key already, so that's good. Maybe this girl will give us something. Alright, so Thunder Wave, I don't really need. But... It was a nice gesture of her anyway, so... Um, I think I can take down Muck, maybe? I can't escape now, so... Hopefully I can take it down. And Magnitude 4 is not going to get it done, unfortunately. But Magnitude 7 will, so there we go. Muck, again. I'll just use some Earthquakes. I'll have to use a Ether pretty soon, but that's alright. With me, I can use Ash. And High Jump Kick this thing. And Garboder. I'll use Chain Chomp again. And he's our Ace, but it's not a big deal to me having an Ace. I'll just Hyper Potion, just Jesse, and continue. There are no Pokemon in here, if you were wondering. But, oh, we finally uh, run into some Plasma Grunts. Interesting. And I can't really do much to this Live Herd, so hopefully it's just plays stupid for us and we can take it down. There we go. Alright. I'll switch in Tropius, I think. We haven't seen Bananas very much. So, there we go. I'll go down here. I'm guessing there's nothing. All right. And we'll just... Uh, I'm guessing card keys will just open secrets and stuff for us. Hyper potions. And everything else will just be linear. And this guy's not a trainer. All right. First guy. I mean, even the janitors are trainers in this game. So I'll just attack... Um, I should attack stun tank first, I guess. But, oh well. I'll take down Per Ugly, make sure I take that down. He's got a flamethrower, alright. Um, so we take down Per Ugly, which is good. And I will body slam Stun Tank and Rock Slide it, alright. Send out Geezer, should do the job. And body slam and Scald, alright. Pretty easy. So we did lose our first Pokemon, but. I have the power of healing, so that's a good thing. Use 66 revives, should be enough. Uh, I want to see if there's any super potions or anything. I do have some elixirs, which is good. But no, I'm just going to have to rely on hyper potions, which is alright, I guess. And nothing over here, so... I'll have to remember boss battles, I have to not super speed, but 
I'll try to remember that. And... Yeah, I mean, this could be pretty difficult, especially if it's going to be, you know, whatever... 10 stories or whatever, and we're on story 4 or something, so... Hopefully we can do it, but... I think we can, easily. And... Hound Doom. That's pretty scary, but I'll just send out Geezer for that, and Scald this thing. Alright. And we did get burned, but I do have full heals, like I said. And... If I really needed Sacred Ash, would help me out a bunch. But, I don't think I will need it. And his Pokemon is his Loyal Servant. Alright, interesting. I'll Leech Seed this thing. And get some lefties back. And then I'll Body Slam it for the kill. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Alright, a lot of Pokemon in this game have Signal Beam. I have no idea why. But we're going to get some goodies here. Full Heal, Max Revive, and Escape Rope. Alright, that's really good. This Clefairy is injured. Well, how do I heal it? I'd love to know how. Alright. Is that like a, uh, if you have a certain item, you can heal it or something? Kind of a secret to this game? I'm really not sure if any of you guys know. Let me know. But I have no idea about that. So, we'll just continue here. I should get out with Bananas. And with Jesse, I can... Uh, Rock Slide, I guess? I don't know. And so I'm going to have to attack Camerupt because he got his stats boosted. Alright, easy enough. And Scald is easily going to take this thing down, so... Pretty easy so far. I don't know when I'm going to stop the episode, but I'll continue in as far as I can go, really. And... These guys are guarding this stuff, so... I'm sure it must be pretty good. Inferno is a good chance of missing, but it always burns, if you guys were wondering. I think a... someone commented that to me because I had no idea. I'm, I wanted to make that guy move so I could get the goodies. Houndour? Interesting. Not very good. But I couldn't take it out in one hit, so... <laughs> Maybe Bananas isn't very good. But I'll switch into Geezer and Scald this thing. And Magmar. I mean, I can use Scalds. I can easily replenish them, so... There you go. Earth Power... I think it's better than Stealth Rock, and I have a Stealth Rock TM if I want to give it to it. And Slugma, I will Earth Power. Alright, easy enough. So yeah, Geezer does have pretty good special attack, if you didn't know. And Focus Punch, there's Maxi. Alright, so we're already facing him. Protein, I guess I can give to... Oh, move out of my way, please. Alright. Um... I don't want Focus Bunch, but I'm just going to heal all my Pokemon real quick. And I guess there's going to be... This is the second or third to last um, person that I have to face as a leader. So I'm just going to save. And I kind of just want to sweep with Chain Chomp. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll end the episode after I talk to Maxi. I finally have my power back as leader of Team Magma. You think you can take that away from me? You're being controlled. Team Magma was the past. It's time you get over it and quit this power trip you're on. Let's do this. Alright. We always say let's do this. I don't know why. But here is Maxi. I think we've already defeated him once. But he's going to be a single battler. Alright. And he's going to set up Drought, I assume. So try to use a ground type or something that knows... Rain Dance, and I'm just going to Swords Dance once, so, yeah, or you could go with a ground type like me, it's probably a good option, and I'm just going to heal up that Hypnosis, because that's just annoying. I do have an Awakening, look at that. Alright, so, he's going to Fire Blast me, uh, that did a little bit, not really scared of it though, even in the sun, so that, that really didn't do much at all, but I'll just use my Earthquakes and then use an ether after the episode ends to get them back. And there we go, we take down Ninetales. So I'm guessing the lady that's usually in Sylphco that heals up your Pokemon is not going to be here. So, that's unfortunate, but uh, they wanted to make the game hard, so this is a pretty good way to do it. Next up is Cyphalosion. It's pretty much a glass cannon, so I'm just going to go with Dragon Claw. Goes for Wild Charge. I don't know, a lot of Pokemon have 
tried to wild charge Chain Chomp for some reason. But, there you go. We took down Typhlosion, so that's two down, three or four to go. Magmortar, uh, pretty... M that's more of a tanky Pokemon, so I will use Earthquake. And, yeah, I mean, this isn't fair, really, <laughs> to uh, Maxi, but, I mean, he does have Pokemon that are you know, four levels higher than Chain Chomp and ten levels higher than the rest of my Pokemon, so I am under leveled, but you know, I've faced everyone and I've done a little bit of off screen training, so I'm happy with the way my team is right now. And we're trying to learn Dragon Pulse, which I don't want. Alright, Heat Moore's up next. I think I can Dragon Claw this thing and take it out. But yeah, I'll just Dragon Claw it, why not? And see how that does alright it takes it out so we can take out anything at this point but uh, in the next episode we will just continue on this place I'm guessing we're halfway through Maxi marks the halfway through point or something but we do have a, a couple of tough team members to take down I don't know if we'll be battling N or gets us but we might be battling both of them, I really have no idea. Plasma hasn't been much of a... Um, hasn't really been involved in this game so far, so... I'm just going to take down this Rotom Heat and end the episode, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this as we go along the... Uh, what's it called? It's not Utopia. It's something like Utopia. Sorry. I'm having a blank right now, but he's going to use Overheat, which doesn't quite kill us. And I'll just use Crunch to take him down, and use Crunch again. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see if Maxi has anything to say. What happened? I don't remember being here. This is my time Team Magma gear? Don't worry, everything will be back to normal soon. I'm going upstairs to fix this. Alright, so, next episode we'll learn more about Dargus and his plan. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.